Get your hand off my penis! Football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. The Tennessee Titans taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Well, it's been 12 of the longest months ever since Super Bowl 54 took place downstate in Miami. And the world has certainly changed an awful lot in that time. But tonight, for a few hours, we bring the focus back to the greatest spectacle the sporting world has to offer. Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And what a matchup we have in store. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Tennessee Titans, taking on the NFC champions, the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thrilled to be with you guys. And, well, you think that they're having fun on Broadway in downtown Nashville no right about, about now? It. Yeah, just a touch. I mean, what a year the Titans have put together as they search for their first title in franchise history. And remember, they've only been to the Super Bowl one time before, but now that they're back, I think they can set aside the agony of that appearance. That was back in 2000. They played the Rams. Remember Kevin Dyson catching the pass late in the game, stretching for the goal line and not quite getting there? And that was also the same year of the Music City Miracle. Yep. When they got to the, you know, won in the playoffs against Buffalo, got to the Super Bowl, but now they're back. Set it all to the side. Set it all in the past. Here come the Titans trying to win it all. Meanwhile, the L.A. Rams, you know, they got the new stadium this year, and that kind of rejuvenated them a bit, I think, and they're back in the Super Bowl for the second time in three years. Remember, they lost Super Bowl 53 to the Patriots in Atlanta, 13-3, but here they are, and they say that experience prepares them well. making that Super Bowl against the Patriots in Atlanta. So this has been an important year for this entire franchise to prove that they weren't flukes to get there before. They found their way back, hung together despite some bumps and bruises, and now they have a chance to win a Super Bowl title. the result on the first play from scrimmage second down at well, the end of all that hitting and hollering it was a four yard run so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves defensively you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves the throw down the field Carpenter is running back you keep your eyes moving scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup now on first down he'll drop to throw it and it's a short one here complete to the tight end that catch good for only a couple. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who have to control their bodies when they run their lines. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. 
Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. A free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Yeah. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets the first down yards before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. How about to start throwing the football four for four on this opening drive? Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's holding it in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now a first and ten at the 11. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Last run got six, now second and four. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And there, he does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. touchdown they wanted but hey you're on the road in the playoffs they did get three on the board yeah it's a good opening drive so you feel good about it yourself you get to the sidelines the defense feels good about you helping them right out of the gate the team yeah they feel pretty good about coming in in the playoffs and get points on the board right away Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now this window is running back out of the backfield. Touchdown for a Tennessee Titan. 
Washington. Get me! Let's go! Let's go! And I think that's a pretty good illustration of why they try to get the football into his hands out of the backfield. That was something else. And we talk so much from a defensive perspective about scheming and finding ways to take away the run. That means the offense has to devise different ways to get the ball in the hands of their guy out of the backfield. Find open space, let him run, and big things can happen, and they did right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. So that's about as long a non-scoring play as you're going to see from inside their own 10 to first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he will score touchdown. Titans with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Titans have taken the lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost fell through at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. This is up and good to make it 7-3. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Taken about a yard deep. And he getting a couple extra yards here for his try to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. That catch good for only a couple. Out of at the 30-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Seven, Rams three. contact to hold on to that one and it's third down he did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived and i've got to tell you you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think i've got to be there right now instead in this case timed it perfectly and not get free and a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check-down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Fielded at the 20. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it'll be Titan football. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. The 
A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Yeah, good for 22 and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, they got the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. And to give this time to the tailback, down at the 30 after a gain of three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 15-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 in the first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Oh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second and 14. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Titans find a way to stretch their lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Tennessee score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. The 25 to the 27. At their own 27 yard line. LA readies for its next possession. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way 
does that guy get on the field in this drive? Poor punter. Yeah, it, 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 it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if somebody got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. It's now second and ten. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he passed the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Yard. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellows. Not an easy thing for them to do. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he'll fight for you about the 27-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have the Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. Wide open receiver complete. He's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range down at the 27-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. to throw here on first down and nearly picked off surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away but it does get away and it's second down they've given up a few first downs on this drive but getting the incompletion there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide
The second down and Tim Thurm knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand and it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And a 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. He has a friend of mine used to say they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. Here we go! Here we go! Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to let this one go deep. Is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Brings up the third down and 10 yards to go. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. In a fourth down. What is Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half for the veteran quarterback. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle, and we are back underway in Super Bowl 55, taking it about the one. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here he is. 
as the man taking the snaps under center heading out for the next possession. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. Pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What's that guy you love? What's that oh, guy you love? Four birds. Four birds. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Yard line. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. This is going to be incomplete. This defense trying to do its part. Active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. They'll set up a throw. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. And this came from the interior of the defensive line, and these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot, and they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. On now is the Titans punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. That throw left side to start the drive is complete, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards the game there, second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. He's got his man in stride to play. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. From 
the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. He's going to wind up and air it out. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shot of the 30. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Brent, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their home with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Back to throw here. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17 to 6. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed that field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Six. Second and eight. And no, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across 
almost the 40 yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. This time to the tailback. And I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage. Work on that clock. See if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Another five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. This is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 16. A really nice gain of 25 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air's out of the balloon. And right now, they're almost lifeless. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all, because you may leave an opening that can come back and get you. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here. on And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? 
because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. I think this one might just be over. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 18 now. Kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Takeover first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep down feet. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are able to draw a bit closer. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Now the try here for the extra point. the lead now to 11 24 13 on the score so two scores down time definitely not an ally but here comes the onside kick and this is going to be recovered by the hand scene and that should just about put a cap on this one they knew they needed a miracle they had to have that onside kick they didn't get it well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth.
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Rob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And again, this time to the tailback. And he will cross the 30 down the 21 yard line. And three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven. Tennessee Titans are your Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all off season, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them, what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn, thanks for watching everybody, we will see you next season right here on EA Sports